a sneaky 15 second trailer for Diablo 4 season three. And my mind is already in overdrive what the theme could be. The tweet reads, unimaginable arcane power stirs. A new season looms learn more on January 16th. That's when they're actually going to release all the info. But on the 18th, we're also going to have the campfire chat with the patch notes, the class changes. Yes, the lead class designer tweeted, I'll be covering season three class updates as well as other balance stuff. It's going to be huge. We're not just going to talk about the teaser. There's a big bonus in the second part of the video. But the information we're getting from this tiny teaser is also very intriguing because arcane power stirs and grinding gears evil looms there is only one mechanical being in the diablo history and that's kind of zoltan cool you do meet him in diablo 3 for example and there he has two gigantic golems fighting on his side but who is Zoltan Cole, and why would it be pretty epic if he lands in season three? Zoltan Cole was a member of the Horror Dream, and the Horror Dream were tasked with imprisoning the lesser and the greater evils in the Soul Stones. But Cole kind of believed different. He didn't merely want to imprison the lesser and the prime evils. He also wanted to transcend humanity, and therefore became really interested in the World Stone. The World Stone has the ability to shape reality, and Cole wanted to harness the World Stone to transcend humanity, empower humanity to get them past the problem with the lesser evils and the prime evils and even the angels. The problem here being that the actual horror dream and also the angels weren't kind of liking what he wanted to do. And that's where they kicked him out because he was getting a little bit too heretical, a little bit too extreme, which kind of led him to creating the Black Soul Stone. That's kind of playing the main theme in Diablo 3. But not only the Black Soul Stone there, you're actually going into Zoltan Colt's archives into his gigantic laboratory area he built there, which is kind of mechanical, arcane, super arcane. And then in Diablo 3, you put the pieces of Zoltan Cool together, rest him, and suddenly we have him there as a ghost looming around. So maybe in season three, he's going haywire again, or we're just diving into his vault that he created full of arcane immeasurable knowledge. Now as a wrap up, what do we know about season three so far? Because the information we got at Gamescom was the gauntlet and leaderboards. These are the main things. Bonus then new vampiric powers or whatever there is to come. Some vampiric powers over class balances, other features, hell tide changes and so on. But mainly, as we know, we're going to get the gauntlet, which is a weekly changing dungeon. This dungeon is going to be non-linear. So you play through it. It has row A, B, and C, and they're always going to be the same for one week long. And you can try to go the fastest through to then earn your seals of worthy, which are going to be frames, depending on how many points you earned. And if you do actually make it into the top 1000 in the leaderboard, you would get the seal of worthy that you can always show off to your friends. The best part about the leaderboards is they're class separated. So we're going to have the solo barbarian, Solo, Necro, Mage, Duos, Trios, Bots. Everything is separated and possible. If you make it to the top 1,000, you get your Seal of Worthy. And if you make it into the top 10, yeah, you get forever into the Hall of Ancients. So every new week, you would potentially have a chance to either earn yourself your Seal of Worthy or to potentially make yourself into the top 1,000 and then look up the builds, what have they been doing? Maybe find some ways to yourself be better. Because end of the day, the game ain't really complicated. You just got to get the good gear and then you got to get a good build. And then you can actually participate with the top players up there. Because I might be able to make good builds, for example. But does that also mean I can play them good and I'll end up in the Hall of the Worthy? We'll see. But this is not everything I have for you for season three. I promised the ultimate resource document to you, including evergreen information, uber unique tier list, and also necromancer tier list, plus to follow other classes as well. So far, we get some very valuable evergreen information on how does armor, life, and resistance work, best lifts for maximum damage, the ultimate paragon breakdown, kind of telling you how to actually do your paragon boards, also, the new level method from 1 to 100, and this is meant to be evergreen information. So this is a level method that will work every season. Season 3, 4, 5, and so on. Plus an actual live stream where I run the whole thing down for you. Obviously, there will be an updated version for season 3, but season 3 is going to get its 
own blog with all the season three esque information. And then if something from season three turns evergreen, it will then land in this document in the long run. Also, if you still don't know how item power item level kind of works, you should definitely watch this video. Now, this gets followed up by the uber unique tier list, and it will also get added all the uniques right now for Necromancer and all the Necromancer builds. So we get the Summoner, Giga Dot, Blood Surge, Bloodlands, Poomancer, Bone Spear, because the main question I often get from you is Harlequin Crest good in the Giga Dot build? Yes. <laughs> it's technically good in every good build. And is the Melt Heart of Selic good in any build? No. I know Rob made some builds work with it on Barbarian, on Necro, it's completely useless. Even the Undying Necro is not good at all. Same kind of goes for Ring of Starless Skies, which is only good for Bloodlands. On the others, there is a better method to do this, which is called Resource Generation. And that's what we have the video here on the lower end for, that really talks about your resource generation and how to generate infinite resource classes, which is actually kind of crazy. Now this gets followed up by the current tier list. We get the Bone Spear here, for example, and where it's good for, one to 100, Overworld, Unique Bosses, Nightmare, with a video and also a build guide over on Mobilitics that always tells you, well, all the information is broken down with equipment aspects and everything on one glance. And then back to the video in case you want to have the more video explanation because you don't understand something or something wasn't like clear to you in the beginning. Now, this will also get updated for Season 3. So, Season 3 is going to get its complete own tier list with all the builds we're going to make. You can literally expect every single build we made, the Bone Spear, the Blood Surge, the Bloodlands, the Giga Dawn, Mendel and Summoner, that I'm going to remake them in the next season to get something equivalently awesome or with the season mechanic especially good. But you're going to also get the information tab for Season 3 with then how does the seasonal mechanic work? How do you summon bosses? What changed with Helltides? What's the new Blood Harvest? All that kind of stuff wrapped up for you. Now, if there are any topics that you're missing, if there's anything you would like to have added and you'd like to see there, please don't hesitate. Dump it in the comments and tell me, I definitely need to know how resistances work. This is something that is no creator has created before and I want you to break it down. Help me help you so we can together just create the ultimate document for all the Diablo for knowledge. Long run, this will be landing on a website right now. It's in the Google documents. And I cannot stress this enough. If you truly want to prepare for season three level wise, this is the secret level method that we have been talking about, which also has two live streams where we actually try to make this perfect. So there's the world record speed run one to 100 and the world record speed run one to 100. In both, we tested different methods with dungeon pushing, dungeon rushing, or in the case of the left video, a combination of Whispers Dungeon Strongholds. And it's interesting what kind of results we've had there. I know a lot of you are burned with Diablo at this point. I am personally excited for season three and I promise to give you all the information you are looking for. And now go and watch that one to 100 video. I triple, double, triple dare you.